Hey folks, out here. Just wanted to go over a few things with you guys on earthquakes and try to explain a few things to you on what's going on with these earthquakes and what's causing all these ramp up in earthquake activity. There's a few different possibilities and a few other factors that fall into this category of what is causing these major quakes and this huge quake uptick. Okay, so recently, about a few months ago, there was a collapse over here in a ridge right outside of Australia. Okay, now this ridge is causing a huge uptick in earthquakes around the whole entire globe, and I'm going to go ahead and show you why. Also, we had a cosmic ray burst that hit Earth, and it hit right around in this region. Okay, so all right up and around in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys something here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to update this all the way up to the whole week. Alright, I wish I could do two weeks because we also had a 7.2 over here in Indonesia. Now, this is what I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, right from down here, around the South Pole, okay, you see how it follows the line? Okay, and it comes up the Ring of Fire, alright, up around here through Central America, even up through the U.S., across up through here, okay, around, up and over here into the Atlantic Ridge, back up and down over here into Africa, and up around like this. Okay, you see how it's following like a line pattern here? Except for up here in uh, the North Pole, which is kind of, a, kind of an odd quake. But I wanted to say, you know, for Earthquake Watch around Europe, as you can see how the swarm is following, Europe's been relatively quiet. So I would definitely take a look here in Europe, you know, from Italy, going up through, you know, the Ukraine. Definitely take heed, you know, pay attention. Because there's some four-point swarms that are around your area. You know, it would just a matter of time before a four-pointer or higher hits this area. Also, another place of interest to watch out for is right over here around Jamaica, um, Haiti, and um, also uh, Puerto Rico. Because they've been having huge upticks for the past few weeks as well. So definitely, definitely take an eye on to that. Also over here around the uh, Mid-Atlantic, you know, in the New Madrid fault lines, these two, li these two faults right here, I would definitely take a look at because as you see Oklahoma has been having a huge swarm so definitely want to take heed to that and pay attention to the New Madrid fault also over here in the San Andreas fault you know you guys definitely take watch too because you guys have been having four pointers and a lot of threes and twos pop off so definitely take warning to that also a lot of five pointers and four pointers all the way down through South America so around Chile Argentina also you know please take heed and just be prepared and keep watch for that also, all around over here where all this is going through, there's like a huge lava movement. There's a lot of volcanoes around around here, okay? Like Benenitu and all that stuff, and they're waking up, okay? So a lot of volcanic activity causing all these big quakes like the 6.6, .6, you know, the 7.8, you know, the 6.8, the other 6.0, 6.2, 7.2 that was down here. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the magnitude 5 and higher. Here you go, folks. Look at this. You know, see this? These are all classified as fairly large quakes. You know, look at all these 5-pointers up around here in Japan. You know, 5.8, 5.6, 5.7. Japan is another place of interest to keep an eye on, okay? Because they're having a huge swarm, as you can see. Very, very huge swarm. It's popping off around here in Japan. So these are places of interest to keep our eyes on. Even over here in Hawaii, they had a 4.4. So that's fairly unusual. So definitely going to take a look into that as well. So I'm going to show you guys something here on another factor that may cause it. Okay. Planetary alignments. Okay, we do have an alignment coming tomorrow. But here you go. There is a planetary alignment earthquake watch on August 25th, 26th of this year. All right, and it's supposed to be a big one with a possible magnetic magnitude 7.8 earthquake on those days also June 19th and through 20th in 2013 a possibility of an 8.3 magnitude earthquake also a 7.2 magnitude earthquake possibility May 25th and 26th of this year you know so there's more and more stuff May 10th through 11th another 7.5 possibility now another one on April 28th and 29th later on this month another possibility for 7.8 so I'm going to go ahead and keep my eyes out for all of this. 
you know, we also have a planetary alignment to Mara. So if you guys want to go ahead and check into that, that's another factor that causes these earthquakes. Also, on to live earthquake feed, if you guys want to check into this for yourself, you know, the links will be at the bottom for all this information. Um, you guys can go in here, check out any earthquakes, even get closer to them, so you can find out how many earthquakes and where they are more than likely uh, pushed around at. There was a 6.0 down around here earlier. So if you guys want to go ahead and check into that. And also on the USGS map, gives you all the information of every quakes from the last week. As you can see, there's a lot of earthquakes. Anything magnitude 2.5 and higher will be on this website. So if you guys want to check into that as well. So there you go, folks. That's it for the earthquakes. You know, just hopefully everybody stays safe. You know, huge earthquake upticks. You know, planetary alignment coming. There's lava movement. We also have Comet Ison that I believe is also affecting the Earth. We'll see more and more of these large quakes, I think, throughout the year. So definitely take heed, pay attention. And um, if you guys are around an earthquake-prone area or any fault lines, please be safe. All right, folks? This is Odd with a little bit of an earthquake news update much love to you all hope you guys uh stay safe and may god bless you all